We went to Tennessee for our road trip. We're going to show you our favorite places that we ate at as a family. We got these recommendations from locals and then one that we picked just because it looked like a ton of fun. And we're going to also do a quick tour of the Apple Barn because it's awesome. First one was recommended by my husband's best friend, the Old Mill Restaurant. There is a new mill, but this is the Old Mill and it is slammed all the time. And there is a reason for that because it is delicious and affordable. So while we waited for them to call our name, we looked at their shop. And and I would recommend you do so, although you can find things like these all over Tennessee, especially jams, honeys, and different barbecue sauces. Corn oh, chowder, no. vegetable, ch broccoli cheddar, and loaded baked, loaded potato. This is cornmeal. They said cornmeal. This is one of the few stores in this area that sells all these different cast iron hooks. Hmm. Like tons of different really hooks. cool, yeah, like, yeah. Just unique, crazy. Yeah. That is neat. But this is one of the cool things about this store is there's just tons of them. There is a lot in this shop. I'm not going to go into detail, but it is a great spot for souvenirs. Yeah, this is one thing we don't usually see. Look, guys. How do you... Can I try? How much are the shirts? Oh, and then bears. Lots of bear stuff. <laughs> And I did notice that this shop, as well as the Apple Barn, has sugar-free options. What I loved about the old mill is that you pick your protein or your meat, so they had all sorts of different options here, and it's only $25 for several courses. We're used to Florida prices, so this would probably be closer to $50. So the entree you pick comes with several sides. You end up getting soup, salad, corn fritters, and a dessert, all for that price. And they did let the kids get a side of mac and cheese, but they have plenty of options for them, too. Too. And of course, those homemade desserts, they all sounded so good. All right, so we got our first, uh, like, entree, well, our appetizer, which is corn chowder soup. And we also have bread with um, corn fritters. The inside of them. Be careful. Oh, my, okay. Well, Looks see. wonderful. It's real hearty. Lots of potatoes, corn. It's just a good mix. Yeah, and I love their butter. Oh my goodness, their butter is the bomb. What is it? Like a cinnamon butter? butter? Yeah. Yeah, their corn fritters. Oh my god, honey in it like too. It, these taste like donuts almost. Yeah, these these uh, corn fritters are the best. Yeah, they're really good. I can't wait to try their homemade ranch too. Yep, they're homemade ranch here. Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. I love your homemade ranch too at home. <laughs> so let's see how it compares to Chef Rick's homemade ranch at home. Hey, we got our food and here's the kids American cheeseburger right here. And the country fried steak that Steve got. That looks wonderful too. Kids got the chef fried chicken. Yeah, it's the combo. Like the combo fried chicken. Pickle. Usually by the time I'm done, I always get my dessert to go. That's nice you can oh, eat that. Yeah, I've never nice. been able to eat it. Very nice, very nice. Looks wonderful. Then it also comes with, if we do one more, you can get more. Country, or uh, Italian cut green beans. Green it looks beans. like it has like so bacon good. and stuff in it. And mashed potatoes. All right, let's dig in. Like I said, there is a reason this place is always busy. It was really good. I love the breading on the chicken. It's a lot of food, so we ended up taking some of it to go so that we could try the dessert as well. We got to try Steve's Country Fried Steak, and that was delicious. So I really think you can't go wrong with any of the meat options. When we come back to Tennessee, we are coming back here. All the pork, yeah, we're taking it to go. I got three huge pieces. Yeah. And, and, and the breading is so, like, it's crispy. Yeah, it was really good. And the, 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 the pork is nice and soft. It's so good. Same thing with my chicken, too. I love the breading. They do not hold back with portions? their portion size. Yeah. You like your burger? Okay. And mac and cheese? Okay. Funny boy, how's your grilled cheese and mac and cheese? Okay. And how 
Joey here with Uncle Steve. It was great. It's cool. He, he's full. He's full, so yeah, that's, that's a good sign. I could take a nap. I know. Me too. All of us. All of us. We're going to sleep the, um, like really good tonight. One, two, three. Happy birthday. And best of all, everyone gets their own dessert. So they have this blackberry cobbler they make in-house, a banana pudding as well, chocolate cake. You can also just get vanilla ice cream or homemade pecan pie. It was really tough to pick which one. Is it good? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's all you hoped I mean, for. Yeah. Uh -huh. Whoop, do it. And they have chocolate you cake. How is your face. chocolate cake? Good. <laughs> really? Let's so that was the old meal great option for Pigeon Forge. Next up on our list is the Applewood Farmhouse Restaurant, which we learned about from basically Google reviews and TripAdvisor. So many good things that they said about this place. They have two restaurants. I think this one's technically the grill. So if you know the difference, let me know. But it was really delicious. And the kids enjoyed the inside theming. They had quite a few rooms with different birds. So the mill had corn fritters and then the Applewood Farmhouse had apple fritters and they had an apple butter as well everything that they make from scratch here from their farm they've had for 50 years with lots of apple products all right what did you guys think of this apple orange pineapple lemon juice it tastes like orange juice it's like orange juice yeah, it's like kind of the orange, orange and flavor. pineapple juice it's very good okay I'm just it definitely tastes tropical like a tropical I don't like it. I thought it was good. I already drank oh, all mine. Like see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Funny boy, it says all mine. no good juice. How are the apple fritters? Pumpkin likes it, Daddy likes it, and I like it. Yeah, they taste like donuts, but with like. Yeah, they taste like donut holes. A little thicker though. Mm -hmm. yeah. More dense. And we had and very corn fritters okay. yesterday. Yeah, corn fritters. Yeah. Which one wins, the corn fritters or the apple fritters? Okay, I really think the corn fritters win. Really? Soups. Soups just came out. I got the vegetable soup. That's pretty good. And we got the potato. Potato soup. Looks nice and creamy. It does look great ice. Okay, pumpkin got grilled cheese. It looks wonderful with mac and cheese. I had gotten the... Look at Buddy Boy. <laughs> and Buddy Boy, he's already eating. He wouldn't give me a chance to film, but he got two corn dogs. Let me show the inside. Show the inside. Oh. Hot dog, hot dog, yeah, corn, they're called corn dogs. Corn dogs? Yeah. I got the trio, which comes with uh, pot pie, chicken pot pie, chicken and dumplings, is which is that one, and two pieces of uh, chicken. And then we got the pork chops over here for Candace. With the apple on top. Apple? Yeah, it looks like there's something. apple, like an apple Relish? Uh, yeah. chutney or some sort of on top of it. Yep. It's good. It's okay. okay. I think it's really good. Not what I expected. <laughs> they say no banquet stuff. No stokers? No stokers, no banquet. This is good. You can tell it's homemade. How are your corn dogs? Good. The pork is nice and what tender, I would say, right? Tender? It's cooked really well and I love the apple stuff on top. It gives it a nice flavor. Now how is your chicken trio, Chef Rick? It's really good. The dumplings are awesome. The pot pie is like very creamy. The pot pie apocalypse. And this chicken, the outer, the the. Any good so far? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah it's really good. The breading on this chicken is to, actually to die for. This fried chicken is really good. I like the meals better, but it's really good. It's pretty good. I like both of them. I also love the mac and cheese because it's very creamy. Very creamy, yeah. Yeah, yeah try it. <laughs> All right, so we got the granny's dessert, which is what, like a cinnamon, warm cinnamon roll? Yeah. And with the kids' meals, they got to pick either a cookie or ice cream. Now, the dessert here, I thought, really was, it was too tough. It should have been a softer cinnamon roll. But we loved the actual food, so we would come back here again. I want to see what the difference is between the farmhouse restaurant 
and the grill. And the next day we went on a tour to the actual apple barn where they make all sorts of different things. We ended up buying some apple products and I'm sad because we are out. I want to go back and buy more. It smells like apple. Ice cream. Praline pecan, blueberry pie. Apple walnut fudge, caramel apple. We got fresh grapes. Fresh baked bread. Those are cute. Oh, they're soft. Soft. Here, feel. There's blackberry cobbler bread and pe pumpkin pecan bread. And apple walnut bread. Oh, apple banana nut bread. Look, we're making the bread right here. We didn't buy any bread, but it was really fresh as you can see them making it there. And then next to this, they were making some candy apples. And there was a pretty big candy store where they make taffies, stick candies, and different kinds of brittle, which we did buy peanut brittle. It was so good. And they had some other candy you can basically buy anywhere, but I was trying to find some unique things. Cashew oh brittle, pecan brittle. We also got one of those fudge samplers because I couldn't decide what to get. Those white ones were pretty good too. It was a divinity, which is like pecans and a marshmallow cream. And I actually thought that these truffles were the same ones that were at Dollywood because they looked almost identical. But the lady said it was not, but she's been asked that before too. They had a really good mix of candy. Some things might be harder than others to find. It was kind of funny to see some of the Harry Potter stuff since we live close to the wizard world but they had pretty much anything you can think of from taffy to jelly beans they had rock candy all kinds of different chocolates different kinds of gummies and truffles as well as a few apple products I want these. oh hey sacks is that like um like those rice krispies bird, bird eggs oh. I want the gummy candy. oh it's a coconut, coconut. Okay. I want like all those it's full colors. Half time, half time. I want a half a time of those. It was all for sugar-free stuff. That's awesome. And it's like a variety. Yeah. Well, they, got like, they got like every kind of candy in here. They even got fruity pebbles. <laughs> There's Charmander. Yeah. They got everything. I wonder what's with this. A sort of. Oh, they have a sort of taffy too. Fried apple pies. Huh. Whoa. Apple fritter mix. Oh, look at this cute stuff. It's like apple and maple candles, maple butter. Yeah. Homemade apple fruit fritter mix. butter. Apple fritter mix. So, okay, so you can make them at home. Cider barn, craft and basket oh, box. Look at these. These are cute. That's a bird house. Got the truck. Reminds me of Earl the Squirrel truck. Oh, yeah, over there. Over there. Yeah. They've got pies and oh my gosh. Those are good. There's more bread. I honestly didn't expect this place to be so massive when I had heard they had an apple store. I just thought it was going to be a little shop with a few apple options, but holy moly, there was so much. Just in this one room was all sorts of different apple butters, jellies, honey, and they even had sugar-free options too. Which, which one should we get? Can I see? Can I see? Careful. Yeah, it's like a honeycomb. Apple cinnamon, there's apple cinnamon jelly, but I don't know about that. What'd you get? Or nothing? I got the bigger one. Oh, okay. How much is it? Okay. And as you would expect in an apple barn, they have all sorts of different apples. So you can buy them in bulk or you can just buy as many as you would like on all sorts of different varieties. And then in another section, they had dried apples, peanuts, pecans, popcorn, and Indian corn. And they also had cheeses and bacon. The packs of bacon were about 10 bucks, which is pretty average. Different cornbread mixes and grits. We did 
not get to go upstairs because we were getting ready to drive all the way back home, but I would like to another time. I like that place, it was cool. So we definitely gotta stop there if you come this way. And next up on our list is not because of the food, but because of the experience, which is Frizzle Chicken Farmhouse Cafe. And this is also in Pigeon Forge, and we did not tell the kids anything about this place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know, that's why we picked it. Well, that's why we picked it. Look at the chicken. They sing songs. <laughs> You're like, oh my god. Like the tickets. It's so cute. I love it. Do you think it's cute? I didn't expect. <laughs> yeah, we didn't say anything about it. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> And the animatronics and the chicks and chickens move around about every 10 to 15 minutes. It is really cute. All right, we got our kids breakfast. It is a bear pancake breakfast. It looks just Oreo. like a bear. And there's Oreos on top of that. All right, and I got the three taco breakfast taco breakfast. Comes with your choice of uh, bacon, sausage, or ham. I got the bacon in these. It comes with home fries and sour cream and pico de gallo. Buddy boy, he does the same thing, except we got chocolate chips on his. And she got the big breakfast. Comes with everything you see here, plus you can have pancakes or Oh, they're toast. supposed to get the blackberry. Oh, yeah. Waffles. Or waffles in with it. So, there it is. Alright, so I got the blackberry topping. It looks delicious. Oh my gosh. They like, I like the whipped cream, they layered it up. So we'll see if it, look, if it tastes as good as it looks. How are your tacos, Shepard? The one I expected to do. Okay. Definitely worth a visit, especially if you have kids or if you just love really unique places, kooky places. It is cheesy, but we really did love it. If only the Tiki Room was like this at Disney, that would be awesome. The closest thing we have is Rainforest Cafe. How did you guys like it? I actually loved that restaurant. <laughs> that, that was, was so the most cute. ridiculous, cutest restaurant I've ever seen. Yeah, it was ridiculous. Did you like it, buddy? Yeah, that was not yeah. what I expected. I love it. <laughs> I liked it too. The food was okay, yeah, but right. you go for the the fun. Yeah, yeah the food is. Uh, I love it. The food hop hey, or the food is a like an IHOP quality. Look, yeah, but the a atmosphere chicken. is fun. Look, a chicken on the arrow. Okay, yeah, I guess they have. Here. <laughs> I guess the comedy bar is right across, and it must be something related to it. I'm not sure. One of these.
these days we'll come back and we'll have to try more. <laughs> We've already done Pirate's Dinner Adventure here in Orlando, but we need to check out some of the other dinner shows. If you want to see our next restaurant recommendation that we went to, it was in Anakista. We have a whole video showing all the highlights of this place, which does cost extra to get into, but I would highly recommend their Cliff Top restaurant just because of those views of the Smoky Mountains. And the food was delicious. Love the salad, the cheese curds, French onion soup, our burgers. We ended up taking some to go because it was a lot. We do hope to come back to Tennessee soon. We missed so much that we wanted to try, but we ran out of time because we did a lot during our road trip. If you have any recommendations, please let us know and stay tuned as we live in Florida. We'll be covering a lot more there. Stay epic and subscribe for more videos. Get our channel, subscribe. Subscribe, click that. If you want to see more of our road trip in Tennessee, click the top one for Anakista and the bottom one for Dollywood. We cannot wait to be back. We really did fall in love with the attractions here. And of course, stay tuned for lots of things to do in Florida. Thank you for watching.